Let's take a look at some of the physics that applies to the action of dropping a mass on a spring. This animation simulates dropping a mass from a height of 5 meters above the top of an ideal spring, which then compresses to a maximum of 2 meters. We're going to treat the spring as ideal and massless, and we're also going to ignore any friction or air resistance. To get a clearer look at what's going on, we're going to use a slow motion view of the system. Our treatment of the drop mass includes two forces. The ever-present effect of gravity in the form of the object's weight and the contact force of the spring on the mass. This contact force increases in magnitude with the increasing compression of the spring. The dynamics of the mass is a direct result of Newton's laws. We have two contributions to these dynamics. Above the spring's equilibrium height, we only have the mass's weight, while below we also have the elastic force of the compressed spring. As a result, there are effectively two differential equations which we could solve separately and then join the solutions mathematically at the instance the mass makes or breaks contact with the spring. Another approach is to examine the types of energy in the system. There is gravitational potential energy, which is associated with the mass's weight and height. There is elastic potential energy associated with the compression of the spring. There is kinetic energy, which is energy associated with the motion of the mass. Conveniently, the total energy of the system is constant throughout its motion. It just moves energy between the different types while keeping the same total. Some special points of consideration are At the top, the mass is momentarily at rest in its motion and thus kinetic energy is zero. While the spring is completely uncompressed, which means all the energy is gravitational potential energy. When the mass motion bottoms out, it is again momentarily at rest, and the energy is now divided between the elastic energy in the spring and gravitational potential energy. It turns out that energy analysis may not tell us all the details of the motion, but we can often extract important information with just a bit of algebra.